Hello, friend. I'm Mormo. I'm um, kind of like an amateur filmmaker, amateur uh, celebrity. I'm a horror host, and I uh, been making these little horror shorts lately. These little educational horror fan films, and. Uh, I got really worried about them earlier tonight, whether I should release them or not. But um, I'm going to go ahead and put it on my Horrorcast channel, and that's where I'll put these movies in the future. And um, anyways, uh, check it out. It's educational. It's scary, it's very scary, it scares me a lot actually, and uh, let's watch. Free advertising using rights products. If you have dived into the world of private label rights, you have no doubt noticed that it is a huge booming market that is delivering a large number of options to consumers. If you are willing to take some chances in the market, you can utilize a large number of different private label rights products to help you really maximize the profits that you can earn and really increase your advertising potential quite easily. Your first option is to take the content that you are provided to use for several different purposes. The first would be to take the original articles and use them on your website to help draw traffic based on the specific niche that you are working with. Once this has been done, you could take several of the pieces and put them together to create a useful report that you give away to people for requesting information about your product. After this, you could further draw the interest of people by offering an ebook packed with information that was created using the private label rights articles that you have. This will typically be a great way to draw attention and interest of consumers and also increase chances of a sale. For graphics, you can take the graphics and use them all over the place. Adding to them or changing them slightly can be an excellent way to ensure that you are getting the best usage out of the graphics as well. After all, your website should always look extremely professional so that you do not appear to simply be a small time show. If you are getting software, then you want to make sure that you modify the software to include your own company or personal name for the copyright and also look to be positively certain that you are getting a great deal for your money. Using this software you can offer a bonus to customers who purchase your product or you could even offer it free to people who are just considering your product. Both methods are excellent for drawing positive attention from customers. As you can see, there are plenty of great ways you can use private label rights products to cheaply advertise your business. If you are interested in a newsletter for your site, you can even take several of the pieces of content and combine them together into a newsletter that will provide your mailing list with updated information as well. This is an extremely great way to keep up with customers that you want to return to your business. The usage of private label rights products to really start boosting the bottom line for your business is certainly nothing new. As long as you are thinking creative, creatively, you are certain to find numerous options that will help you to really ensure you are getting a great impact. Advertising is always an important expense for most businesses and if you can use private label rights to lower your advertising costs while still getting the needed advertising then it is perfect solution for your business. 
Just be certain that you update your offerings occasionally to stay on top of the changes in the market and also to be positively certain that you continue finding new customers to help out your business. Okay, friends, so I found that film to be very scary. And um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a great franchise. Um, I first heard about it from my Uncle Hal back when I was a little kid. And then um, I saw it on the big screen one year. When I was working at Toys R Us, I talked a bunch of people at work into going and seeing it on the big screen on Halloween, and it was awesome, and uh, it was real cool, and uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre is great, Part 2 is great, Toby Hooper is a great director, um, just a really awesome franchise part three had that funny part where he has the speak and spell and a clown pops up and Leatherface punches in the word food that was so funny that was that that one joke like just gave the whole movie an a plus for me part three and uh they're all great even the newest one which confused a lot of people but it was still an all right movie and thanks so much for watching please leave me a comment asking me for a link to something like horror cash university or my newsletter or um my store where you can buy rights products from me and uh, let me know anyways thanks so much